Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Apexel rotatable telescope phone adapter. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this is a device for attaching your smartphone to something like a spotting scope or binoculars or a microscope. So here they have examples here. If we look on the back, it has some specs. The examples they give are binocular, monocular, microscope, sporting scope, and most optical devices. And here you have the different diameters for the eyepiece and the phone width. So let's get this open. So it comes with a Bluetooth remote. Here are the instructions. Let's take a quick look at them. So here's English. So this shows the different parts. Here's the diagram of it. I think this is going to be pretty straightforward to use. And here are the instructions. You can pause and read through this if you'd like. So here we have some different pieces of foam, some foam padding here and here. So let's look at this. So this is spring loaded. So there's some rubber padding in here. And then here we can loosen this up and this slides back and forth to position your phone. When you get it in position, you can lock it down. This is also spring-loaded. Okay, so I had to switch up cameras. The camera I normally record on is the one I wanted here. So this is an iPhone 13 mini, so I'll set this up in here. So I want the regular camera, so I'll open up my camera, and I'll just cover each camera. So that's the top, and that's the bottom. So this top one is the wide angle, but I want the regular one. So that's this one here. So I want to line that up with the hole. So I'll approximately line that up like so, and I'll open this up and put this in here. Now, you have to be careful how you clamp this. You want it flush so it's not pressing the buttons. So that's about in line there. And then we want to adjust it this direction. So I'll loosen this screw, and I'll move this over, and I'll push this down just a little bit, so it's lined up just centered. That looks pretty good right there. I think we'll try that. So this is what it looks like from the other side. Maybe could move that over a little more. Okay, so we have the phone centered up in there. Here I have a scope. It's on a tripod. You don't have to have something on a tripod. I specifically chose something on a tripod because I'm filming this and it will be easier since I have to deal with the scope and the camera I'm filming this with. So to mount it, I'm going to squeeze this and put it over here. Now this does rotate to make kind of like an eyepiece. So you want to keep that in mind. And then this also rotates. So we'll squeeze this and put it on. So if I put this on, I want to tilt it this way. This is exaggerated, just a tiny bit. So it forces that down so it doesn't unrotate. So I'll just kind of put it on like that. Let's kind of rotate it into place. So now we're lined up with the scope. You can see this here. Now we can switch modes, obviously. Here's video. Now, depending on the mode you're in, it may cut it off differently. So if we go to photo, we're going to see the circle from the scope. If we go to video, it's off just a little bit and we can tweak this maybe. So I'll slide it. Let's try that. I'm liking it right about there. Now when I get this to where I'm looking at some wildlife, I can adjust it a little bit and tweak it. So to use this, we'll probably tap on here to do some focusing. You may need to adjust the focus up here. You may need to go back and forth until you get the thing you're trying to take a picture of in focus, and then you can take your picture. So I'm gonna head outside. Hopefully we'll find something to take a picture of, maybe some wildlife, and I'll show this in use. Okay, so there's a bird feeder right there. And I have it here up on the scope. Let me go to video and let me actually just start recording. So I can adjust this dial here. Now different binoculars or monoculars will have different things here. And you can see we're adjusting the focus. And then on my phone, we can tap to make sure it's focused. And we could also zoom in this is this iPhone 13 mini has a 2x optical zoom, so I can zoom this in 2x, like so, and I will tap it to focus, and there we are. We have very clear video. Unfortunately, I don't have any birds. <laughs> Usually this is covered in birds. I don't know where they are today. Now you can also film in landscape mode, so I'll stop the video, and I'll just turn the front of this. I'm going to need two hands here. 
I'll start the recording back up and now we're horizontal. So I almost was going to turn it the opposite direction so it was going to be on this side, but then I remembered that I needed the weight over here, otherwise it would open up that eyepiece. I may need to tweak this just a little bit. Tap that there. I'm getting a little glare there because we are kind of looking into the sun. So that's the gist of how this works. I'm gonna see if I can't capture something with this and I'll insert the video that I capture or the photos into this video. Okay, so I put a clip in there. It was a squirrel in a tree. It was quite a ways away. Now this holds on here pretty good. You certainly wouldn't want to shake this really hard. I mean, I'm sure you could probably get it to come off. But like, you know, I can hold this upside down. I can shake it a little bit here. Now that'll depend on what it's attached to. Of course, if you're hiking in the woods and you're carrying this like this down a trail, if this were to fall off, it's probably going to fall to the soft ground as opposed to if you're on concrete or something you probably want to be even a little bit more careful. But the nice thing about this is that once you have your phone on here, you can clamp it on or off. So if you're moving locations, you can unclamp this, carry it or throw it in your bag real quick, take this, reposition it, and clamp it back on. Now you don't have to have a tripod, but generally speaking when you're doing photography, tripods can really come in handy. But you can also just use this freehand. So that's the Apex L Rotatable Telescope Phone Adapter. This is a nice accessory to take your non-digital devices and make them digital. So you can take your monocular, binocular, telescopes, microscopes, connect up your phone, and take pictures or video. And since this is the phone camera, you could do things like streaming or any other app that can use that camera. So if you're doing a teleconference with someone and you want them to see something that's far away, or in a microscope or telescope, you can pop that on and open up a FaceTime call, Skype or whatever and it'll use that camera. I like how easy this was to use. Since you can look through here easily, you can center your camera, you can adjust it back and forth, and then you can rotate this. So you don't have to take it out to do the rotation, and that stays centered in there. Now when you're not using this with your phone, it doesn't take up a lot of room. Now this did come with a remote, so you can pair this with your Bluetooth on your phone, and you can just press a button to take a picture. I didn't go over the setup of this, but it's relatively easy. You just go into your settings, Bluetooth settings, turn this on, and then it'll show up under Bluetooth and you pair it. And then you're done, you can press the button, take your picture when you're in the camera. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.